What's up? It's patch time again, folks. This week's patch departs from the previous formula of making the game less likely to take a nap randomly as you play and features a variety of actual gameplay tweaks and changes. I'm going to break this up into sections based on classes, weapons, and other miscellaneous items. So, starting off, we have the Ogren. Insult! Better not be insult! The Emperor's Finest are getting a really sad nerf to Intimidating Presence. Previously, this item was working as a multiplier, and instead is going to function additively, as initially intended. This hurts our big boys quite a lot, and I'm sure a lot of Skullcrusher players are going to be missing this one. More so, Hard as Nails is getting nerfed from negative 25 to negative 20% damage resistance per knockdown ally. This is on top of it only applying now to allies within 20 meters. So unless you are actively saving them, it's not going to be doing nearly as much as a clutch perk. Raging Bull is also being nerfed from 5 to 2.5% per enemy hit. This hurts, but at least it comes with the fix that it will actually apply upon all melee hits, so silver linings. The Ogre can at least take some solace that their weapons were being tweaked for the better, with the Ripper Gun kickback cr 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 cleavers and Brunt Special all getting some degree of buffs in the new patch. The Ripper Gun has a slightly improved damage output towards Carapace, but the main improvements are that it now has better damage ranges going from 200 and 400 maximum to 250 to 500 damage maximum. The kickback is also now reloading 35% faster, actually hitting carapace now, no longer losing damage against maniacs, cleaving through more baddies, and more. It definitely seems like they really wanted to make this weapon more of a viable option. Hopefully these improvements stand to make it shine a bit better out there in the field. Cr cr Cleavers are now dealing 1 to 1 damage on Flak and going from 0.05 to a whopping 0.25 scaling on Carapace. The Mark IV variant is also getting 30% better sweep speeds on its second heavy with better chain times to boot. Brent Special is also getting the same improvement with 30% faster sweeps on the second heavy and the chain time also being decreased by 0.15 seconds. All in all, a decidedly nerf-heavy patch for the Ogren, but a slew of weapon improvements do help soften the blow at least a little bit. Moving on to Zealot. Place your faith in fire. Very much a light touch with a buff to Purify in Blood from 50 to 75% more toughness, and a nerf to Faith Restored from 75 to only 50% toughness resist. This mainly is going to hurt crit zealots, but it's a solid uptime on that feat, and this will likely still be their top choice. On to our pew pew boys, the veterans. Oh. Mainly fixes to some bugs that were present, but also raised reload speeds from the speed load blessing, which is definitely nice when you are in the middle of a volley fire. There are, however, some actual buffs to the class. One was increasing toughness gains from exhilarating takedown and covering fire to 15 from the original 10%, as well as increasing stamina gains from 20 to 30% through duck and dive. Personally, I'm still likely to be using unwavering focus or camo expert, but uh, the boost to Exhilarating Takedown is still much appreciated. And finally, the Psyker. This one is short, but definitely the highlight of this patch. First, Psychokinetic abilities are going to be less interruptible. They're also receiving a slight buff to Warp Charges with 1% more damage per charge, as well as an increased damage buff from the Cerebral Lacerations feat from 15 to 25% more damage. The buffs don't stop there, however, with a flat increase to Brain Burst Damage and Stagger by 10%. The big buff, however, is that Warp Charges are finally not completely lost after they time out. Instead, they function much more like Bleed Stacks, where they lose a stack one at a time after their duration is met. Honestly, Psyker is getting a lot of love this patch cycle, and I'm really excited to see how these changes look out in the wild. Headhunter auto guns are being buffed, no longer losing damage scaling against flak or unyielding enemies. The horizontal recoil is also being decreased, which will help these rifles be a lot easier to handle. They also will each get their own increases in magazine size, as well as an increase to the Mark 8 variant's general impact, though so that's nice. The chain axe is also receiving buffs, which are tackling its current main weakness, which is survivability in hordes. And it starts off with getting a more horizontal initial heavy attack. Heavy attacks will also be doing more damage and impact as well as the ability to cleave an additional target. 
The push follow-up is also going to be coming out swinging with a 20% sweep speed increase and a decreased chain time to block and attack. And to wrap up with some miscellaneous items, scab shooters are being lobotomized in this patch with a negative 20% less damage and a decrease to their reaction times, continuing to scale with the difficulty. So as you go to damnation, they will still get a little bit better reaction times, but still, all in all, it will be a straight decline. So the difficulty of your choice will be significantly easier. And speaking of lobotomies, bots are also no longer prioritizing patting your back over base survival instincts and will actually clear enemies before attempting to engage in friendship. And that wraps up this patch cycle. Confident that we will be getting many more of these as well. Drop a like if you like this overview, and leave a comment if you think I left anything out, or you have a suggestion for another video. Otherwise, I'll see you next time as we await more news on crafting this week. See you around!